Reviewing our corn silage in the stack from last season is an important part of our planning for the coming season and getting various factors right. In this video we're going to use the Penn State forage box to look at a sample of our corn silage and we're going to look at the particle size and the kernel processing with that method. Righto, so as part of our silage review plan for our corn silage, we're just going to do a, a shaker box test through the Penn State box. We just grab a sample, a couple of litres of silage, so we try and keep the same size sample and there's a set pattern for using these so that you're not just picking up it and shaking it around. You've got to do a set pattern to do the process. So here I've just got some samples that I've sieved out to get a, a cross section of the samples. And you can see through the box, Penn State box, different size holes. Oops. I'm just using the three trays of the box for doing the silage. If I was doing a ration, I'd, I'd use the fourth tray. And we can look at these samples that we've done here and you can see the difference in the fibre components in the trays really, looking at the percentages of long fibre, middle tray, not worrying about the bottom one at this stage. You can see this corn silage here has a lot of long fibre, you know, probably around that 20 to 24 percent of long fibre versus these two which are in the sort of 8 to 10, 12 percent. Now I'm not going to go into what's wrong or right with that because these silages all are okay in terms of it's how you use them in your diet or how you're feeding your animals. What we do need to look with these samples though is, is the processing and not only the processing of the grain which you can see the cracked grain in the sample but also the processing of the plant fibre, the plant stem. And I've got some examples here where if we get a lot of these long pieces that aren't processed it reduces our packing capacity, we can't pack it as tight so then we have to try and chop it shorter. When we chop it shorter, we have less of this longer fibre if we desire to have that and we're back to having shorter crop. So managing the dry matter, managing the chop length, managing that processing so that these big bits are ripped into thin bits or cut up. It also helps with the digestion in the animal that the rumen bugs have more trouble getting into something that's got the skin all around it versus something that's opened up. Another simple way that we can do this is just a one litre cup sample out of, the, out of the cup, spread it out, look for whole grains, half grains, larger pieces whether they're processed, go right through the sample, see what, if the grain is broken in half or larger and then just count, the, put those grains aside and then once you've gone through the whole sample, count them and compare it with what's on the cup so that you can estimate how have I gone with this silage processing process, what am I going to change for a better result in the future. And do this at the time of harvest. It's easy. Any one litre cup. Following are the key points to remember from this video. Reviewing silages allows us to develop plans and goals for improving with future silage. The length of cut and processing of corn silage is key to packing density for quality fermentation. If kernel processing is insufficient, starch digestibility will be reduced in the silage. For more information on this topic, please visit the Dairy Australia website at www.dairyaustralia.com.au.